Hello, we're going to be making with custom designs, dimensions. So I click on this, and the dimension is going to be, I want 11 wide, 8.5. There we go. Create a new design. So it should go look like this. Do you see anything? No. I don't either. Let's see. Oh, there's the space. That's the space. So this yeah. is 11 this way and 8 this way. So then what I do is I give it a background. Over here, you can see the backgrounds. Yeah. Good. So they got free backgrounds. This is kind of nice because it gives kind of like a shade. Isn't that sweet? Yeah. So now go over to text. Now I can choose the different styles. And they have a heading, pops up here. I change the size of the heading by clicking on the numbers. Ooh, that's a good size. And then I can change how it goes sideways. There we go. And then if I go to spacing, I can change and make the letters come closer together. You know, I'm going to say, Marlene's Training Center. Now, I want that all on one line, yeah. so the way to do that is to change the typeface, something they call font. I can look for Robo, and there is something called Roboto Condensed. Oh, wow. I wonder if it's even thinner if I go Robo... Thin. Let's see if it gets it even thinner. Come on. Yeah, I, I, I think that might be thinner. I wonder if that will work. Yeah, except for the energy. You think so? Hmm. Yeah. Uh, yeah, see, it's not very thick, is it? No. So what happens if I change it back to Roboto? Um, let's see, Robo. There, condensed. Yep. See how condensed that is? Yeah. Put an M in front. And that might be a very good way to just start it right there. Yeah. Then when you want to make copies, I think we just go like that. Copy. Run over here. Drop it in. And you see how open that is? Yeah. If I go to spacing, I can change the spacing and make it come together more. I think it worked out very nicely when we had the 88. Move it sideways, move it sideways here. And that's one way Marlene's Training Center. Mm -hmm. um, might be interesting if we could cut that and make it one long. Let's try that. Um, change the spacing to be taller. Then when I cut, I can put those two together better. So, I can make this a little bigger. Maybe we can go to 96. There we are. And I pull it over here, and there she is. Marlene's Training Center.com is one way to go. And then we can cut this. So, we can hold it here and bring it down. And then we'll see if that prints. So, thank you very much for looking at how to set up a poster that we then can cut and place on a wall to remind people to visit. Um, and we've been helped by... Thank you, Alexander.